think that's, there's a problem at the moment that <coughs> many in the private sector can still afford not to take climate change that seriously. So if we do get a, a legally binding agreement in the next few years that sends a strong signal that this is the way things are going, um, that fossil fuels will clearly play a part for some time going forward, but that we massively need to increase the contribution of renewable energy, then the climate change regime is one way in which you send that signal. It's certainly not the only way, um, but insofar as governments will take those uh, obligations seriously, they will then at national level have to implement a series of taxes, regulations, use of subsidies, etc. in the way I was mentioning. And I think that's, under those sorts of conditions, you create an enabling environment and you stimulate interest in the uh, potential of these alternative uh, energy sources and technologies. The key challenge is to make sure that poor people uh, get access to those, and that's the danger at the moment, either for reasons of cost or patents or, or whatever it might be. Um, on those technologies, it's very hard for people to get access to them, so those issues need to be addressed. I think there's a series of things that can be done. One of the things I mentioned was uh, fossil fuel subsidy reform, and of course there's, there's many initiatives on that now, and I think that's a key thing. When you're talking about 600 billion US a, a year, depending on how it's calculated, that's a vast sum of money that could be used much more effectively. So making clear to the private sector um, that depends on that, that this will be wound down over time, that, that money will be redistributed towards trying to uh, enable energy access will be a positive thing. We obviously need a much higher price on carbon. That could come through carbon trading mechanisms, through taxation on carbon, a whole range of different mechanisms. Uh, it needs to come through regulation as well, you know, when for new buildings, etc., but also um, when projects are set up, making sure that there's a, a strong co-benefit, a strong co-development benefit that make, make sure that poorer people get access to, to new technologies, to new forms of energy that are being generated.